Tasha, something came for you while you were out. Morty, what did I do with it? I know I put it here somewhere. I swear I'd lose my head if it wasn't Move. a... Move! Why is this open? I don't know. Uh. Tosh, I'm here, staying at the Lennox. Hope to see your beautiful face soon, love, D. <laughs> Guessing that's not D from what's happening. <laughs> You know, that is very rude. Yes, it is. You should have told me who D was, but I'll forget about that if you'll tell me now. Who is it? Is it David? Is it Dobie? Demi? Is it Doogie? Is it Doogie? Is it Doogie? <laughs> for lunch tomorrow you know i could have thought of this it's simple it's cute it cares not about gender differences you know and that it's fun for a girl and a boy lunch tomorrow busy fun killer fun killer cookie invited me and i don't want to say no to the head of the drama department but i don't want to be alone with her either Gotcha. Here's what you do. When you see the check coming, go into the bathroom. Stand there for at least 20 minutes. She'll, she'll have to pay. <laughs> Saving money is not my issue, Mr. Plug Everything into the Hallway Outlet. <laughs> Cookie joined this new group called Meta Spirit, and she wants to talk to me about it. And, and, and you want to kiss her butt, but you don't want to join her cult. <laughs> She has stopped drinking. She wants to make peace with everyone. She channels past lives. She only dresses in the colors of the sunset. <laughs> Brian? I'd like to apologize for my behavior in class last week. There are, in fact, no new scenes in our town. <laughs> I was exploiting you for my own titillation, and and that was wrong. I'd like to make peace. Wileen! <laughs> Wileen, are we still on for lunch tomorrow at Ports? Uh, um, yes, of course I'll be there. And boy will be with us. What? Oh, that is just wonderful. <laughs> oh, and may I suggest that you both wear the colors of the sunset. <laughs> They're so soothing. <laughs> Actually, Cookie, all my sunset clothes are at the cleaners. Uh, all I have in my closet right now are dusk and, of course, starry, starry night. <laughs> Boy, I, too, was sarcastic once. when things don't work out the way they're supposed to. I blame myself. I thought she could handle the big stairs. I'll just get a new one. It's about Jack. We're getting married in four months, and there's a major issue that we have not even broached. Maybe I'll get one of those plastic slinkies. I know you don't want to talk with me about this, but you have to. Have lunch with me today. We could go to ports. Look, darling, you know I'd help if I could. It's just I've made lunch plans with Wileen. Wait, I... I just have to bounce my thoughts off of someone before I talk with Jack. Well, maybe we could do it another we time. We have got to figure this out, because if we can't, I'm not going to marry him. How's one o'clock? But I thought you had to... I'll cancel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Where you been? Out. With Dee, perhaps? No. What's with that business suit? It's a business suit. What's in the briefcase? Could it be Dee's briefs? <laughs> <laughs> 
You know what? Stop asking me so many questions. Well, I want to help you out now so you don't ask me to lunch later. Help me with what? Whatever made you buy that business suit and buy that briefcase. I mean, are you leading a double life? <sighs> I've heard about that, Tosh. A lot of people have perfectly respectable jobs during the day, but at night they're like a flasher or a thief or something really immoral, like, oh, my God, you're a lawyer. <laughs> lawyer and I'm not coming to you for help. Oh, you'll come. They all come because I'm the handyman. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come, come. I'm your handyman. Yeah. Hey. Hey. What's wrong? Jack Reed emailed me yesterday. He wants me to talk to his class about my radio show. I didn't sleep a wink thinking about it. It's my worst nightmare. All those kids staring at me and judging me and passing notes and throwing things and this is going to be the worst day of my life. I don't even know why I get up. Nice talking to you. Lainey. I'm changing. I have to cancel lunch. How come? Because Joy's having problems with Jack and she really wants to talk to me and I thought that, you know, you take that... advantage of the situation. Well, I was going to say help a friend, but six of one. Anyway, will you be okay with Cookie? Yeah, I guess. Okay, well, I'll see you back. I'm going to go ahead and have lunch with Joy then, and I'll see you. <laughs> what in the name of Harry Krishna are you wearing? Well, Cookie was talking with me about Meta Spirit the other day, and I don't know. Some of it's kind of interesting. Well, Eskimos are kind of interesting, but you don't see me wearing seal blubber. <laughs> I tell you, I'm not comfortable with this. Don't worry. Go have your lunch with Joy. Everything will be fine. <sighs> hey, it's me. All right, go ahead. Have a good time. All right. Hey, you dropped this. Oh, thanks. Whose number is that? Oh, Cookie gave it to me. It's Guru Ahmed's. <laughs> He wants to manipulate my chakras. No, he's not. I'll see you and Cookie for lunch this afternoon. Manipulate your chakras. I don't think so. Hey, Leonard. Jack, hi. Listen, I have been panic-stricken for the last 36 hours at the thought of speaking in front of your students. Please, please don't be upset. It's just, I have this problem talking to, you know, other human beings. Well, Leonard, you have your own radio show? I know, I know, but there's no one there. I just imagine that I'm talking to this great void. <laughs> See, I'm great at talking to the void, and I knew you were going to be angry, and I'm sorry, oh, but... Yeah, that, that's fine. Don't do it. Really? But I'm on your schedule. <laughs> you know, I'll just, um, I'll give a lecture. Well, yeah, but... The students were so looking forward to seeing me. I mean, I have my own radio show, the critically acclaimed Blues Hour. <laughs> They'll be devastated. Then do it. Oh, God, all those kids judging me and passing notes and throwing things. Let her, let her listen. See, I, I, I don't care. I just I have, a, I have a lot of other things on my mind. All right, see, you're mad. Well, no, no, I'm not mad. I'm just, I'm upset. There's this gulf that's widening between me and Joy. Neither one of us is addressing it. It's me, isn't it? <laughs> wow, for such an insecure wreck, you really have an enormous ego. Sorry, I should be more sensitive. Look, uh, I'm sure you'll work it out. You belong together. You're both... gorgeous. <laughs> Could I... Buy you lunch. I would really love to talk about this with somebody. Even you. And, and you know, maybe I could uh, help you out with your lecture so you'd be less nervous. Okay. Where do you want to go? I don't know. You know, someplace where we won't run into anybody. How about ports? Perfect. Look at the ace. Watch 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 the ace. Okay, Boyd, where's the ace? Queen of Hearts, your break is every time. You know my problem was there? I didn't watch the ace. <laughs> but I think I got it this time. Let's go again. No, look, let me do you a favor, okay? I'm gonna say no. But can you do me a favor? Where's Tasha King's office? Right over there. Oh my God, are you D? No, D is the little sister on what's happening. <laughs> I'm Daryl. <laughs> Hey, 
You're late. And you're beautiful. Let me take you to lunch. You know what? Give it back to the poor little sucker you took it from. <laughs> and sit your butt down in that chair and keep your little bony hands where I can see them. And let's go over this. You are still a flirt. <laughs> Here's the ace. You watch the ace? Here's the ace. You watching the ace? I know you're not watching the ace. Where's the ace? Watch the ace. Watch the ace. Watch the ace. Where's the ace? It's that one. Oh, silly, silly girl. <laughs> oh, all right. Go ahead. Take it. Take it. I never heard of a foley. Get out of here, I mean it. <laughs> All right, hey, Boyd, I need a favor. Me too. You gotta find the ace. Find the ace, find the ace. Oh, find Amy, the... just find the ace, Tasha. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Tasha, who is Daryl with a D? That's what I want to talk to you about. See what I tell you? You always come back to the handyman. Comma, 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 comma. Boy, shut up. Listen, please come to lunch with me, okay? I can. I'm double booked for lunch. Tasha, who is Daryl? Boy, please have lunch with me, okay? Listen, I really need your support right now. I can't be alone with him. Why? Because he's smooth, and he's manipulative, and he's deceitful. Well, so am I. <laughs> yeah, but you're not my husband. So I'll meet you at Ports at 1 o'clock, baby? Hey, I just gotta run to the Ames building. I'll see you at Ports in 20 minutes. Thank you. You don't know what this means to me. But Tasha wait. just said that. Hey, see you at Ports. One o'clock. Peace. Hey. Hi. I'm so glad you're here. I really need to talk about this stuff. Yep, here I am. Let's get this thing started. Can we get a waitress over here? <clears throat> okay, you jack problems. Go. <laughs> No, 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 no. You, you don't, barked. I don't... Oh, I haven't even looked. Um... Uh, we'll both have the turkey burgers and iced tea. Quickly, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to be somewhere? No, no, no. I just don't want anything getting in the way of this important talk. That's how much I care. <laughs> <laughs> it's about Kit. You haven't even discussed kids with Jack? I mean, that's a pretty crucial issue, don't you? You know something? Can you excuse me a minute? Because when I'm this focused on someone else's problems, I have to wash my hands, you know, in case I have to hold your face. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Oh, boy, guess what? Cookie has invited me to go on a weekend retreat with Guru Ahmed. Stop right mm. there. What are you doing to her? I was just sharing my experiences with Metaspirit. Wileen is free to do whatever she wants. Although I must say, I have never felt better in my life. No booze, no wheat, no gluten. Wileen, what has gluten ever done to you? Shame, 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 shame. You ready to order? Oh. Uh, hey, your girlfriend's getting a little impatient over there. Hey, why don't I give you your tip right now? Mind your own business. We'll have the turkey burgers and iced teas. Please, thank you, quickly. Wow, you're awful. Boyd, Cookie is not talking about some cult. She's talking about a small group of people united by an ardent devotion to one man. Or deity. Well, Ian, you're not getting this expensive education so you can go pass out poppies at the Delta Terminal. <laughs> You've left me no choice except to put my foot down. And I'll do that in a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. Do me a favor. No Kool-Aid for those two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I feel so dirty having lunch with a married woman. Oh, boy. I know I dropped a little bomb on you. Yeah, any other surprises you've been keeping from me, I can handle it. I saw the crying game. Go ahead. Boy, I was 18, okay? He was fun. He was cute. And he had a car. <laughs> Why didn't you ever tell me this before? Because it's embarrassing. I mean, do you tell your friends about every stupid, childish mistake you've ever made? If it'll get a laugh, you bet. <laughs> I tell you, for years, I've been trying to get him to sit his oily butt down and sign divorce papers. But he just has a way of just sliding on by. Well, that's the advantage of an oily butt. <laughs> Anyway, he's finally in Boston. I met with the lawyer this morning, and we've got the paperwork ready to go, but he doesn't want the divorce. Why not? Either he really wants to make this work between us, or he's broke. Well, he's not broke. He has 60 of my hard-earned American dollars in his pocket. I 
need you to see me through this because every time we get together, he starts to talk about old times, I get misty, he gets soft, and then he ends up putting it off. But he won't cry if you're here because he'll have to do that whole man thing. I am here for you. Oh, Boyd, I know you are. I gotta go. <laughs> Hey, you're at the table in the other room. I'll be right in there. Just give me a second. Stewardess, three turkey burgers at the table in the other room. Quickly, please. Thank you. Are you okay? Yeah. I got you some matches. I didn't want any matches. Well, I went through hell to get them. I'll just put them back. Yo, boy, this. I just feel like, like she's holding something in her back. You know, like, like there's something important that she has to say to me. Do you, do you know what I mean? Okay, we'll talk about you. I think the students would enjoy my speech. I was gonna bring the headphones. Hi, what can I get you guys? Oh, I'll have the uh, turkey burger. Uh, we're all out. Some freak has been ordering them for the whole restaurant. So just bring me the uh, tuna sandwich and a cup of coffee. I'll have the same. Oh my God. You have such a sexy voice. Boy, thank you, Molly. You know, I host my own radio show, the critically acclaimed Blues Hour, WMUT 88.7, on your FM dial. So, we're at my cousin's, and there are babies everywhere. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Boyd. I'm listening, I'm listening. Jack just seems so put off by them. I, I'm afraid to even raise the subject. I just wish that he would give me some indication that he was into having kids. See? Sometimes being cute and having a car just isn't enough. What? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm really confused because my hands are still dirty. I'll be right back. Boyd! I miss you, baby. I just thought that maybe we can give it one more shot. Remember our wedding? Oh, come on, don't do that. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your... Oh, ear. come on now, don't go to that Lionel Richie place we just ate. I don't know, boy, it seems like it's really changed Cookie for the better. Yes, I'm a new woman. <laughs> oh, I haven't had one of those in weeks. Uh, Martini? That too. Well, good for you, Cookie. And Wileen, I'm glad you have good judgment to follow such a good example. Can I have a minute? I really need to... Hey, what's up, man? What are you doing here? He's joining us for lunch. He's here to support me, Daryl. That's right, Daryl. Boy? Hey, Jack, can I ask you something? Hey, boy, wait a minute. I need you to be here. Just a second. Boyd, I want to go on this retreat. Hold on. Wait, I still need to talk. I'll be right there. Hey, turkey. Oh. Burgers. Oh, listen. I need your help with something. You're a piece of work. What do people tip nowadays? 8%? I'll double it. I'll call triple it. What do you want? Okay. See that woman in the orange turban? I want you to bring her a martini the size of a big gulp. <laughs> See that cute little blonde there? I want you to bring her a kitty menu and tell her it's compliments of Jack. And here's what I want you to do for that couple at the table in the other room. I missed you. What's that? Ahmed didn't condone drinking. Let me tell you about Guru Ahmed. His name is Guru Marty. We go to the same dry cleaners on Newberry. He was very convincing. And I was having a particularly bad month. Problems with men? No pause. So I'm making a complete fool out of myself. Nonsense! You're wonderful, and you're 19. And wonderful 19-year-olds should be curious. You're just lucky you have me as a mentor. <laughs> you gotta believe me, baby. I've changed. I really want to make it work this time. No, Daryl, I think you just broke. You know, it really hurts me, baby, when you underestimate me. Your credit card's no good. I was instructed to cut it in half. The manager will be over in a minute. What? What are you talking about? Your credit card's no good? <laughs> oh, look. There's spaghetti and grilled cheese sandwiches. So what do you want? Do you want a boy or a girl? Oh, 
small. It doesn't matter. I hope they look like you. Me too. <laughs> Let's go home. Oh, oh, um, I have a class to teach in ten minutes. Can't you do something about that? I place sheets of paper towels in between my ears and the headphones, thereby absorbing any excess moisture. <laughs> Just when he thought I had no money, he just signed those divorce papers and bolted. Man, Tasha, I can't believe you were married. Yeah, well, you know how it is when you're young and stupid and just ready to believe any nonsense that someone wants to sell you just because it's different. <laughs> Kids. Dal's a taker. He's not a good man. You know who's a good man? Hmm. Not Jack Balance. <laughs> Your brother Boyd's a good man. Yeah, yeah, he is a good man. Where is that Boyd? <laughs> Primetime comedy soars all morning long. Back-to-back -back episodes of Wings are coming up next. Part of USAM, primetime comedy in the morning on USA Network.